Deborah, the school is urging students and staff to be more aware of their surroundings and use their escort services after a violent three weeks around the campus. Right now, students and staff at Johns Hopkins on high alert. I get up pretty early uh, to go to the gym, so like it's dark out and I'm always like scared. There's definitely a pause and a hesitancy to go places like without looking over your shoulder every now and again. An email from school officials to families over the weekend now detailing six armed robberies within the last month, two with abductions or attempted abductions on or around the Homewood campus in North Baltimore and one near the Peabody campus in Mount Vernon. There was a lot of intelligence sharing between our team and Baltimore City Police Department, their detectives and their leadership team. We're sharing camera information and camera footage, um, which likely can help identify these suspects. For now, students and staff should expect an increase in Baltimore police and public safety officers patrolling on campus. But the email also mentions the controversial move to create a Johns Hopkins police force that's caused protests among students. And even amid this uptick in violence, students we spoke with are still split on whether a private force would help keep campus safe. I don't think that police forces are actually effective deterrents for crime. Um, I think that, if anything, it might just increase marginalization in the community. I definitely feel like it would help with that, like the JHPD. I think establishing that will help like secure, at least for the students, uh, the safety around this campus. School officials want students to be aware and take precautions to stay safe, but many students feel this is a citywide problem. I think if you want to target the crime, you need to do all of Baltimore and you need to be helping the other communities as well. You can read the entire email to the Hopkins community on our website, WBALTV.com. Reporting live in North Baltimore, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News.